Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chaos here and I'm back again with another Roblox scripting tutorial. So this is going to be a video showing you guys how to make uh, a feedback or a bug report system for your game that goes through Discord. So I already created a webhook here, but all you need to do is just go to server settings and webhooks and I'm just going to edit this one. Now the name doesn't really matter because if you're going to go the way I'm doing it, um, then don't have to worry about it because it's going to change the name when you send off the uh, post to sync their HTTP service. So I'm going to copy that webhook link and uh, I'm going to go to the server script and we're going to start the, the, the beginning process of it. Um, I've already created the feedback uh, frames and everything so everything's already created. So you're gonna want to have yours, you know, created if you haven't already. Um, I mostly did this because you know I, it's basically worth. It's a little quicker to show you how to do it if I've already made the frame and everything. And I would assume you've already got the frame. You just wanted to know how to script it. So um, we're gonna get the chat service. So local chat equals game colon get service chat. We're also going to get HTTP service. Local HTTP service equals game colon get service HTTP uh, service. Um, we're going to get the uh, replicated storage. So local replicated storage. Uh, equals game colon get service replicated storage. Um, then we're going to get the event from the replicated storage. So we're going to go local send message or send feedback equals replicated storage colon wait for child uh, send feedback. And I'm just going to open up the function. I think. No, there was one more thing before that. There's uh, the webhook. Uh, local webhook equals the link. So, this is just for my Discord server. Um, so, yeah. Um, we'll do send feedback dot on server event colon connect function. Uh, we're going to do player and feedback. And we're just going to just do, uh, we're just going to leave that blank for now. Uh, now we're going to go up to the client script and uh, set that up. And I'll continue the server script in a moment. So we're going to first get the player. So local player equals game.players dot local player local replicated uh, storage equals game colon get service uh, replicated storage and and then local send feedback equals replicate storage colon wait for child send feedback um, let me make sure I, that's what I did, yeah, I just had to make sure I'd use the replicated storage and not just went through a whole, because sometimes I'll do that. Um, and then we're going to get the frame and everything else that we're going to need for the script, so I'm going to get the main frame, so local frame equals script dot parent, uh, local submit equals, uh, frame dot submit, local cancel equals frame dot cancel uh, local uh, FB uh, BTN uh, that's what I'll name mine is equal to uh, frame dot feedback so Feedback is a button, it's a text button, it's a blank text button, and so basically what this will do, this is just for the background and also for, um, uh, since it's used for the background, when you click on it, it's going to capture the focus, so 
Um, just wanted to quickly explain that. And then we'll do local feedback input, which would be the button, I mean the text box, which is equal to FB button dot uh, input. And then we're going to get the uh, open button, so local open equals frame dot parent dot open. So we got all the frames we need. Um, now we're going to set the max characters, so local max characters. I'm going to set mine to 250, and I'm going to make a debounce equals false. Alright, so now we're going to get the input uh, button. So frame frame button or feedback button dot mouse geez I can't type button one click call it connect function and so this is where we're gonna check if not debounce then uh, debounce equals true uh, FB input colon capture focus and then weight 0 0.01 and debounce equals false and yeah so basically what that'll do uh, can't exactly show you until I uh, create the open button I guess I'll show you later but um, we're gonna do input box uh, dot uh, get or colon get property changed signal. I'm gonna do text colon connect function. So when text is changed, this will specifically wait until text is changed to fire this function rather than changed, which will wait for any kind of action to happen to the text button or the text box. Uh, this specifically waits for the text to be updated uh, because what this will do is it will update the uh, text with the uh, making sure that you uh, are not going above the maximum amount of characters and also it will just calculate how many characters you have in your box so we're going to do uh, input the fp input dot text equals uh, string dot sub uh, fp input dot text comma one comma max characters and then you're gonna do remaining. Oh, I forgot to make a uh, uh, a variable for remaining. So local remaining uh, equals uh, fb button dot remaining. So that's this right here. So remaining dot text equals. We're gonna do some math here. It's gonna take max characters and subtract the number of characters that are within input dot text so yeah there's that uh, we're gonna set up the submit and cancel buttons so uh, local uh, oh, sorry submit dot mouse button one click colon connect function and if not debounce then debounce equals true and we're gonna go send feedback colon fire server and we're gonna fire off oh forgot to make a check Um, shoot, uh, if input.text is not equal to, uh, sorry, I had to go control, nope, shoot, there we go, not here, <laughs> I can't type, it's not equal to this, 
blank string, then send feedback, colon fire server, input, dot text, so it fires it off to the server for the server to filter it and send, uh, send it off to Discord. And then at the end of all this, um, it will do input box, uh, input, so text equals blank. And what I'll do is I'll put that within this right here. All right. And we'll just do wait 0 0.01 and uh, debounce equals false. Cancel dot mouse button one click colon connect function. Shoot, I can't type. There we go. Uh, if not debounce, then debounce. Shoot, I feel like I messed something up there. I guess it debounce equals true. Uh, frame dot visible equals false, and wait zero point zero one, and debounce equals false, and then open. Here, I'll just change this. We're just going to change cancel to open and frame the visible to true. And that's it for that. And that should open and close the frame. So as you can see, if you click on this, you can type in it. And then if you just click out of it, and then you click the very edge. So notice how that's a button it will still capture the focus. So yeah, and then cancel works. So now submit doesn't really actually do anything until you have this set up. So um, what I'll do is um, local formatted comma, or sorry, equals HTTP service colon, uh, JSON encode and I'll open two curly brackets and do that so we're gonna set the content of the message to chat colon filter string async and we're gonna do feedback comma player comma player don't ask why you had to put player twice it's just it this is normally for the chat, so it would be player one, player two, but, you know, it will throw an error if you just put one player, uh, which is kind of dumb, but, you know. I would use the text service filter sync, but it doesn't always filter. Um, but if you want to use the text service one, then feel free, but I typically just use the chat filter because it will filter more stuff than... Um, yeah, because it's easier to bypass the text, text service one. Um, let's see. Uh, we're gonna set the username to player dot name. Uh, hold up. So player dot name, and then. We're going to do dash, open bracket, and player.userID, and we're going to close that bracket. So this will set the player's name to their name and their user ID, or it'll set the bot's name actually. And then we're going to do avatar uh, URL equals and we're going to use what's called an image endpoint. Um, let me get this over here. So these image endpoints are created, were created a while ago. And basically what this will do is it will get the players, what you'll see on their profile. So their, the headshot. 
Um, and yeah, so we're gonna put player that user ID right there. And then this should be good to go. Uh, and then we can just do HTTP service colon post the sync, and we'll do webhook and uh, formatted. And now we should be able to send stuff off to the Discord server. So let me just go ahead and open up Discord real quick. Close all this out. Um, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put this right here. guess I'll try and get this to not cover it up completely. Alright. That should work. So if we click feedback, we got the frame. Um, and we're just going to type out, this is a test for a tutorial. And we press submit. That must have thrown an error. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot to set the game settings. You have to have HTTP requests on. Alright, that's my bad. Now it should work. Probably should have done that earlier on. So now we can open this up. Uh, this is a test for a tutorial. And submit. And as you can see, um, JJ Boxer, my user ID, and this is a test for a tutorial. Um, and then you can, as you can see, the the characters update. So yeah. So we'll do another test. Lol. I don't know. There you go. And since it's from the same person, it won't create another one, so I can always do that from my phone and do it with another account. And each each time it changes the name, it creates a whole new username message because the name has been changed. So it's always really nice. And then you get to see their profile picture, which is cool. And yeah. Uh, hopefully, you guys found this video helpful. Um, I just thought maybe, you know, this is something I'm going to be adding on into my personal game. Uh, and I'm actually going to be making mine to where uh, you can send a uh, feedback or bug report every six hours so to prevent people from just spamming it. And obviously you can create multiple accounts, but each of those accounts will have to wait six hours to send another one. So, yeah. Um, and everything's moderated. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, yeah, this was helpful, and, uh, if you did find it helpful, leave a like, and if you want to see more, uh, tutorials like this one feature, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.